Hey there, world of YouTube. How's everyone doing? Uh, been away for quite a while, actually. I think I mentioned in the last video that I had been under the weather. Well, that came around and bit me again, and I've just been sick and uh, had a bunch of other stuff going on as well. So I've been away from you for a while, so I apologize for that. Just wanted to do a quick video, um, kind of with 2020 under well underway now. I've got uh, quite a few, not only my solo acoustic gigs, but some gigs with our band set up and um, trying to make my life easier all around. So I ordered some things and all that to try, again, try to make my life a little bit easier. And I thought I'd share some of that with you and maybe could help you guys out. Uh, you know, if that's something you're interested in. Uh, let's see, the, the picture you're looking at now, um, I have my iPad here, and the iPad is kind of the, uh, the focus of this, and I use it for the recording. So you can see here, uh, I can switch between the camera angles with the software that I use just by touching there, and then switch back. Um, you can also see over here I've got a microphone stand set up. We're going to be looking at that. I'm going to set the iPad off to the side here. And in this box I've ordered what is called a Caddy Buddy. And what it is, or what it does, it allows me to take the iPad and have it mounted over here on the um, microphone stand so that I can have access to song lyrics and if I need chords or anything like that I can just have that so I ordered this and just thought I would open the box and I, I haven't messed with trying to set it up or anything I thought I'd just do that here on film and uh, kind of bring you along for that so you know there's looks like three pieces to it so I wouldn't think it would be overly complicated here. Looks like everything kind of screws together and all of that uh, pretty standard stuff. There's the holder for the iPad itself. Now I have it, let me set this back over and grab the iPad again. Uh, I don't have the iPad as you can tell, this is just the iPad without any kind of case. I did order a shockproof case for the iPad so it will be in that and uh, basically just so I can have access because if you're doing let's say you know if I'm doing a three hour show I'm going to do 30 you know at least 30 songs 32 songs something like that and somewhere along the way uh, you're going to need a, a little bit of help uh, in with either a chord here or there or lyrics here or there or whatever and same with the band so um, my memory is not what it used to be and in, now that I'm in my 50s anyway that's why I'm doing this because you know having a stand a music stand with a notebook with all the I mean that just gets to be kind of a pain to work around all right so it looks like we've got this sheet here for the Caddy Buddy iPad holder and just I think this cost on this uh, was around $55, $56 something like that uh, just so you know where we are so here we go one knob adjusts portrait or landscape that's nice you can have the iPad either way so portrait or landscape I'm going to be using a portrait for lyrics and chords uh, let's see stretch the arms around the iPad I'm just reading here off of the sheet um, comes with a gooseneck to mic stand I'm assuming that's what this is oh it looks like this moves oh it does good so that kind of folds around that's that's neat so there's that piece, gooseneck. So you can have an angle with me and in my 52, almost 53 year old eyes and my bifocal and all of that, that, that might come in handy. I'm gonna set that off to the side, that's the gooseneck. 
and it looks like you can do a combination of all of these things if if you need to so that's kind of nice um, all right so really just a few pictures and that's all there are as far as directions that's all there is uh, it says clamps to any mic stand or round post clamping range half inch to one and a quarter inches so we're going to give that a test it also has the guy's card that invented this thing and uh, phone number and email address and all that if we have any questions so we're going to try to avoid having to ask any questions so let's see here looks like we could just screw this on here however we want this should loosen and be the clamp so we could put it on either side so it depends on which side you'd rather have the iPad on so let's try first without the gooseneck I'm gonna just set the box over out of the way maybe switch to the other camera there so you can see what I'm doing here and this is just uh, this is my mic stand and I kind of wanted to test the balance of everything so I grabbed a microphone as well to put on here just to see how it balances so let me put the mic on there and it's a typical tripod it's on stage stand uh, I have a little clip here from guitar picks uh, all that kind of stuff and I have it set I know I'm sitting in a chair right now but I have the mic adjusted if I were to stand up this would be the right height for me so that's good so let's go ahead I'm gonna take this and just gonna kind of unscrew here and again my 50 year old eyes I'm not sure exactly where I'll need to mount this to for it to catch the now my acoustic gigs I sit on a stool so I you know I have to test it both ways probably and I'm sitting in a chair now so that seems to clamp on really really well doesn't seem to I'm putting some pressure here with my hand let me grab the iPad so I can see the preview screen um, so you know you kind of have to maybe spin the stand a little bit to get the right angle of balance but yeah that's pretty sturdy there so I'll bring the mic back straight to me I don't think anything's gonna tip over on its own so that's a good thing Let me, I'm going to back up a little bit and stand up and see how that might work. I might have to slide everything that way as far as the adjusting the boom. So let me do that. So let's do a little more like that. And then this is the piece here. Can you see that? This is the piece here that holds, actually holds the iPad. It's got some uh, pads here. And then the corners just kind of clip around. And looks like this just screws into the back of that. Nice and snug. So that's good there like you have some adjusting room and all of that let's grab the iPad here and when you order or when I ordered this you do have to tell which tell them which iPad that you have so uh, this is just the Wi-Fi version of an iPad a 9.7 screen and I'm gonna just Let's see. Yeah, I'm just going to put it in here and see how we do. It's supposed to just stretch over the corners of the iPad. Seems to be good so far. Yeah, there we go. 
see if I can adjust the camera a little bit. Here we go. Kind of see what I'm seeing. So if I were singing, that would be probably a little bit too low for me if I were standing up. Let me kind of adjust the mic where I would normally have the mic up in my face. And I know you can't see the top. I, I wanted you to see the, the iPad. Um, I'd probably need to move it and see if I can mount it up higher. So I think I'm going to try that. So bear with me here. But it was very simple. Very, very, it's a very simple design. It's very easy to adjust. Um, the other thing with this gooseneck, I have a round, uh, a microphone stand with just one of those round bases that I could sit here and then put the iPad. I could mount it, you know, kind of like that if I can't find something that works on here. But let me, I'm going to move it. Take it off here. I'm going to move it up because again, my I've got to get it just in the right spot for my uh, where it'll hit my bifocals the way that it needs to. So I'm going to bring it up a little bit closer to me. The idea is I just want to while I'm playing, I just want to be able to glance down and see the iPad. I don't use it much anyway, but. And then this gives you room to adjust. I can tilt this way, so very easy to do that. So if you needed to adjust for glare or anything like that. So let's see, if I'm playing and I just glance down, that actually is not bad. That is actually not bad where it is. Uh, what might benefit me is actually take a like a silver sharpie and mark the top here and that way I would know where to mount it. Um, let's see. I don't have my stool. Let me pause you for a second. I'm going to run and grab the stool that I sit on and when I play uh, my solo gigs and I think this will work perfect if I'm playing bass because I play bass in our band. And so if I need to, if I'm standing here, and I, I know you have to imagine me holding the base here. Um, but I can actually see this really well. And I, again, just a very simple, simple design. Uh, there doesn't seem to be any problem or any issue. I'm rocking the microphone stand pretty hard with my hand here, uh, up there. Um, I'm grabbing the top here. See if I can angle you up just a little bit more so you can see what I'm doing here. Uh, yeah, so if I grab the mic stand and, you know, I'm just doing this and I let go, it's very sturdy. Um, and I'm, I'm on a carpeted floor. Most of the places we play are hard surface and not carpet. But, yeah, it doesn't feel like it wants to tip over or anything. It feels very solid, actually. So I'm very pleased with that. And I can see it well. It, it kind of hits in my... Again, I gotta work with my bifocals here, and that, and really, all I have to do is just kind of move my eyes, and I'm seeing everything here really, really well. Uh, but let me go grab the stool that I sit on and see if all I need to do is lower everything down um, from here down, and then I can just take a silver sharpie and mark it. And then I'll know where to put it every single time. So again, trying to make my life easier. So give me a second; I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back with you, and now I'm sitting on the sitting on the stool that I use um, when I play my acoustic gigs. I do get a little more relaxed because I usually play for two or three hours, and so I'm sitting here. Let me I'm gonna lower the mic down to where I would have it if I was playing a solo gig. Eh, it's going to be, I might have to move it up just a tad. Yeah, I think it needs to be a little higher. 
again, very easy to adjust and kind of get exactly where you want with this thing. Very, very simple design. Very easy to use. Yeah, not, it's not bad at all. Um, not, not bad at all. Uh, again, just kind of doing the, the little review for you here. So, again, let me kind of run down what it is. It's called a Caddy Buddy. Uh, sorry about the noise. It's a nice day here in central Illinois, almost 60 degrees on Super Bowl Sunday, actually. And um, people out riding the motorcycles, so got some background noise. Anyway, this is the Caddy Buddy iPad holder for a mic stand or tripod. So that's what I ordered, uh, invented by a guy, Mike Buckner. And hopefully I'm pronouncing that correctly, but CaddyBuddy.com. And I bought this, so he has no idea I'm making this video, but um, CaddyBuddy.com and uh, all of that. you. When you order, you just tell them which iPad you have, and it, it works from, you know, iPad Air to Pro to, you know, just the basic Wi-Fi model that I have here. And uh, I think it's going to work really, really well, again, to kind of make my life a little bit easier. Uh, the other thing I'm working on, I'm going to go close this video out, so I, I appreciate you hanging with me today. Um, something a little bit different, but... Um, as you can see, I'm even with my mic here, and I'd be playing guitar, and really all I have to do is glance. Um, it is, you know, it needs, have to do a little minor tweaking here and there maybe. Um, you know, in my vision, I'm kind of catching. It was really good standing up, and I think I have to play a little bit more with, um, maybe even extend it a little bit with this gooseneck uh, to extend it out a little bit further because right now with with me sitting down I'm catching the microphone the edge of the microphone uh, I'm catching in there but overall I'm, I'm I, I think this is going to work great and the you know being able to just again do away with some things that I would normally have to carry around and set up is is a good thing so uh, pretty happy with it. Um, you know, I could sit here and play. The mic's going to pick me up just fine where it is right there. Um, I could even lower it down maybe a little bit more, kind of like that. And yeah, it just, that actually just doing that gets it out of my way, and it's still enough in my face that it's going to pick these uh, SM58. This is a Shure SM58 microphone. You pretty much have to be in them, uh, you know one of those kind of microphones where you know you got to have got to have your face in it um, but it, it great quality microphone great vocal mic but uh, you got to have your face in it so if I adjust it like that again uh, maybe put a, a mark here and here uh, with like a silver sharpie or something and then readjust stand back up where I would normally go and then maybe put another mark and then I could put a G for guitar or, and B for bass, and that way I would know if it's a band band gig or solo gig or whatever, or guitar, if I'm doing a guitar thing or if I'm doing a, a band thing. So anyway, just wanted to bring you along for that. And uh, to unmount this, just pull out on the corners, and these just pull out, and they feel very sturdy. It, I mean, it is plastic, but it feels very, very sturdy. And uh, so very easy to change, too, if you did want to do it landscape or portrait. It's just very easy to spin it around like that. And, uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy with that purchase. That, uh, again, I spent, I think it was about $56 or so shipped. And, uh, yeah, it's, it's going to work out really, really well. The other thing, I'm going to do another video. Uh, I'm setting up a little... Uh, got a small pedal board set up for again for my acoustic gigs 
And I usually take three guitars when I'm playing an acoustic gig. I'll take, uh, you know, a six string regular tuned that is the primary guitar that I'll play for the gig. And then I have another guitar that is tuned down a half. And then I have my 12 string that I play on several songs. So it just adds a little variety and all of that. So anyway, and then sometimes I do like an open G tuning and stuff like that. So uh, I, I usually take three guitars. And so what I'm setting up on the pedal board is, uh, so I'll, basically all I do is just pop the cover off the pedal board, plug three or four cables, and I'm ready to go. Uh, again, trying to make my life easier. But I'll put that in another video. This one, again, is for the Caddy Buddy iPad holder. So that's kind of my review. I'm really happy with it. You saw uh, what you saw. I had opened the box, but I hadn't pulled anything out of the box. So you saw me pull it out of the box and the, for the first time put it on the mic stand and put the iPad in it and adjust it and all that. It was very, very simple, very easy to use. Um, you know, some of these things fluctuate in price all over the place, but uh, I'm really happy with this one. And um, the other thing I like about this one is that I don't have to get a different mic stand. It, it seems to be really sturdy on the tripod uh, or on the tripod stand that I have, uh, the boom stand. So pretty happy with it. Going to try it out. I've got a gig here uh, two weeks from today, actually, so or two weeks from yesterday, sorry. And uh, so in roughly two weeks, I'll give it a, a test. And then that video that I do after that, I'll kind of give you an update on how things went. But uh, thanks for joining me in, I am in the workshop. Uh, so thanks for joining me here. Something a little different, just a little bit of a review on the Caddy Buddy iPad holder for mic stand. So if you're in the market for one of these, I definitely recommend it. So thanks for joining me. I'll see you next time in the workshop.